A lot of people are eating raw oysters these days, uh, but you have to understand that eating raw oysters can actually uh, come with some risks. Uh, recently, there was a man in the Midwest who died from eating uh, raw oysters that were contaminated with a particular bacteria called Vibrio vulnificus. Uh, this bacteria can actually be quite harmful and potentially deadly. It causes a condition called vibriosis. And, and guys, let me tell you, um, raw oysters can be a culprit. You know, some people might say, oh, well, I would know if my oysters weren't good. The thing is, um, an oyster that contains harmful bacteria doesn't necessarily look any different than other oysters, doesn't smell any different, doesn't even taste uh, necessarily any different from other oysters. So you may not know. Also, by the way, hot sauce and lemon juice, which people often use in their uh, raw oysters, don't kill this Vibrio bacteria. And also, in case you're wondering, drinking alcohol while you're eating the oysters doesn't kill the bacteria either. It's really, uh, it's really, really important to understand this potential risk. The way to kill uh, harmful bacteria in oysters really is to cook them properly, okay? So I need you to keep that in mind. I'm going to give you some information. This is according to the CDC about this condition, Vibriosis, which is caused by Vibrio vulnificus, the bacteria. It causes about 80,000 illnesses in the United States every year, about a hundred deaths. And most people who get this become infected by eating raw or undercooked shellfish, particularly oysters, or exposing a wound that they have to salt water or what we call brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh and salt water. Okay. Um, and, and this bacteria, Vibrio, naturally lives in certain coastal waters. They tend to be in higher concentration between May and October when the water temperatures are warmer. And most of the infections that happen, uh, during the year happen during that time because of this. Uh, the symptoms, you're probably saying, okay, well, what does it cause? Well, we're talking things that are not fun. Watery diarrhea, abdominal cramping, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills. Um, and also the skin infections, skin infections rather I should say, can be caused when you have an open wound that is exposed to uh, the type of water I mentioned or say um, the juice of a raw oyster, things like that. Most people with mild illness will recover and they'll be, they'll be fine. But there are some people who get super, super sick with this infection, may end up in the ICU, may even have to get amputations, et cetera, because remember, it can cause skin infection as well. Guys, so what's the take-home point here? Understand that there are ways you can reduce your risk of getting vibriosis. First of all, don't eat raw or undercooked shellfish, such as oysters. It might be a hard sell for some of you, but that is one of the most important things you can do. Also, if you have an open wound, you want to avoid contact with salt water or this brackish water I was telling you about. You want to cover that wound up with a waterproof bandage, things like that. Make sure that raw seafood juices, uh, oyster juices, etc., does not get on that wound. Also, make sure you're doing things we always want you to do, right? Besides not eating raw or undercooked oysters or shellfish, um, cook them before eating them, wash your hands, soap and water, um, you know, make sure that you're keeping wounds covered, stay out of salt water, brackish water if you've got a skin wound, uh, things like that, uh, washing hands, washing wounds. If you have any symptoms that are unusual or concerning, reach out to your medical um, healthcare provider right away. All of this is really, really important. What's really important um, in addition to this is just understanding your risk uh, and staying safe. Guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you eat raw oysters, if you have heard about this bacteria, what your thoughts are. Please share this video with other people that might be able to benefit from it. I'm Dr. Jen. I do daily videos on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. Uh, for those of you who send stars, I respond personally. Also consider joining my exclusive uh, subscription groups on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon. Also check out my website, drjencoddle.com. All right, see you soon.